We need to figure out this waist trainer because she is sitting up all types of crazy. Or she got me sitting up all types of crazy and we can't have that. So maybe if I scoot her down just a little. And now is a her back up. Let's see. Yikes. Like, yeah. I really could just put it on underwords, but oh well. Okay, y'all, how we looking now? Let's see, because y'all probably can't even see. How we looking? We looking a little better? Probably not. The booty probably looking a little flat, but that's okay. That's not what we hear. So I had to, I had to take a nap. Like I was wore out after the gym. And I was supposed to be drinking a gallon of water, y'all. Do you see how far I have gotten? Like, I haven't gotten far at all. Let me drink. Let me drink. And it's already 5.32. It's already 5.32. And I just haven't made... No progress of the stuff that I needed to do because I do want to cook. Let me move y'all real quick. Okay, we setting up a little better. But I, I wanted to come home and cook this lasagna by the Cajun Ninjas. Let me show y'all. This is what I want to try to cook. That right here. Is it focused? It won't focus, but it's the four cheese lasagna by the Cajun Ninja. And finger crossed that I can get it right. I had to go to the store yesterday. I was supposed to cook this yesterday, but I was procrastinating. So we're just going to make it do what it do today. I did have to go to the store and get my little, my little dish set. So y'all know, like, I am serious about this cooking. I am serious, serious. When I say that I really want to learn how to cook, I really want to learn how to cook, and I'm not going to stop until I get there. So every... Let me, let me not say every day, but I'm going to try to at least try to cook at least twice out the week and see how it goes hopefully i'm praying that this meal comes out good as y'all can see back here i already got my stuff prepped i already got the stuff that i need and my season is on that side like your girl is ready to go i gotta dice up this stuff and y'all just gonna walk with me so y'all can actually see where i be going wrong at because I don't know if it's me. I don't know if it's my hands. I don't know if my fingers. My hands are ashy right now. That's neither here nor there. But we got to figure it out. Y'all have to help me figure out what it is that I'm doing wrong. What it is. Like. What is it? What is it? Why can't I cook? So. We're going to stop saying we can't cook. And we're going to say we can't cook. And every day we're getting better at it. So I'm going to put him up on my TV. And we're going to figure this out. Before we jump off in this thing and start flipping up the wrist, I have to make a smoothie because I did not eat today. So I'm going to make a quick smoothie and then we're going to make her do what it do, baby. We're going to make her do what it do. So, oh, so this is how I make my smoothies. You can make your smoothie however you want to. I add like... A scoop or two of butter pecan ice cream it really doesn't matter which kind you get but butter pecan ice can ice cream um oat milk and a banana and my serious mass i am going to do two scoops of the serious mass and i usually would add peanut butter inside of it but i just want a real quick smoothie to just get me through because I'm hungry. I 
know y'all gonna be like, girl, you did all that working out. Just to eat some ice cream. I don't like the way the powder tastes. So the ice cream really, it does what it needs to do. And we don't have a Smoothie King in California, but when I looked up um, the Hulk recipe from Smoothie King, they use butter pecan ice cream. So what do I do? I use butter pecan ice cream. There's my smoothie for today. Just need to just let this sit up under this water. I just won't show you I'm changing it. Kind of hard for the show you I'm trying it. I mean, it ain't easy, baby. It's gonna take a minute. Told you something so different, but everything I swear I mean And what I tell you ain't written, but I'm just hoping that you feel Most it Most of these niggas be bitchin', I just won't show you what it really is Them niggas you listen to, get on the mic and they just be rappin' No, they ain't livin' like that, half of them niggas they just be cappin' Back in the day I sleep on the mattress, I blew up so fast, they think that it's me I remember that day, just like it's a class When you came in my life, I can't tell them what happened Then I told you that I swear that I never hurt you but once Double back and show you, you can't believe what come off my tongue When I flat your wrist, I'm flat in mine That's a one-on-one -on -one. Ain't no need to waste no time Soon as it's set, then it's done Happy to show that I love you, not right now I'm a shine Piece of me missing when you ain't what I can tell you. Ask what you doing, you say thugging. I'm so caught up and I'm thugging. Tell me, do you really? So, I'm not good with voiceover, so I'm just gonna tell y'all what I did. Uh, I added one fourth cup of avocado oil because I don't have cooking oil. I use either avocado oil or I don't remember the other one. Anyways, I added one fourth cup of that. And then I'm just going to like let this cook for 10 minutes because that's what he said. And then I'm going to start opening up my ooh, snap, opening up my sauces. Now we're using tomato paste, and we're using two tomato pastes. Three tomato sauces um, two crushed tomatoes and then two of the mild rotel tomatoes the one that I don't want is the one that's calling my phone but I'm still thinking about you and I wonder will you come home to me Baby to me The one that I don't want keeps on calling me up But I'm still thinking about you and I wonder are you in love with me Are you still in love with me Okay y'all so I'm looking at this and um it's only me. This looks like a lot, a lot of sauce. So I really hope that uh we can make something to do with the extra sauce. Like maybe make this out of spaghetti. I don't know. I don't know. Like this is this is a lot of sauce. I feel like I could have did one can of each. Mm, excuse me. However, since I don't, I'm not proficient in cooking, I wanted to just follow his steps. And yo, maybe we can make two lasagnas and I'll just eat lasagna the rest of this week. I don't know. I guess I'll meal prep. I don't know. I guess we'll just look and see. But now we're fitting to add the seasonings to it so let's get to Julie, it don't lose sleep let the past be but i need you bad won't you bad you stay on my mind miss your supernova miss the way you shine remember when you used to love me Your light. The one that I don't want is ready to fight 
from my love But I'm still thinking about you and I wonder could you give up on me? No, baby on me No, 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 no The one that I don't want is all in my face But I'm still thinking about you and I know if I've been replaced Tell me, oh, baby tell me Let the past be, I need you bad, bad, you stay on my mind Miss your supernova, miss the way you shine Remember when you used to love me Oh, remember how you used to care Yo This This before, <laughs> before y'all say anything in the comments, let's 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 take a moment to just appreciate the fact that I even cooked. <laughs> yes, indeed. This like. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. First off, I haven't tasted it yet, obviously. But I know it's looking a little crazy. It's kind of looking like questionable. But let's let's take a moment and think about this real quick. So I I don't eat cheese. Ah, I don't eat cheese. So, I didn't put a lot of cheese at the top because I always pulled the cheese off. I think for the aesthetics of the presentation, I should have added the cheese and just pulled the cheese off. Because this kind of looks questionable. Most definitely. Let's go check on these rolls though. Uh-huh. So the rolls are almost finished. I'll let it cook for like one more minute or so. And before y'all say, girl, we left you in that kitchen for a little bit, and this is what you came back with. I was trying to clean up. And I was washing dishes, and as y'all can tell, there are dishes on both sides of the sink now because as I was washing them, this knife, this knife here nipped me. It didn't nip me, it cut me. Cut me so bad, like it was like blood just oozing everywhere. I could have, I could have took out an artery, I could have took out a vein. These cuisine, Cuisine art, I think that's what they're called because I did buy some new knife sets once I had moved here. Um, those things are sharp. Those things are the truth. I do actually love how sharp they are. But yeah, they definitely cut me. So yeah, that's what happened to my hand. Uh, I really hope that this... I really hope and pray that this tastes good. So let me put y'all down and... We finna do a we finna do a taste test. So y'all, the looks can be deceiving, but let's not go based off looks. You know we're in beginner stages right now. I don't have the presentation of the key, but it's the taste that we're looking for. Does it has that mwah, mwah, mwah? Do it have that? That's what we're looking for. We're not looking at how it physically looks. Let's see how it physically tastes. So. Let me put y'all down. And if y'all ask why I have one side of my hair down, these ponytails hurt. And I'm just here for the aesthetics, baby. But my scalp was itching also, so I just didn't make it to do the take the other side down. Let's let's try a corner piece. Well, I guess a corner piece is all that we can. This is supposed to be a four cheese lasagna. 
we're gonna call this a hamburger lasagna. Hamburger helper lasagna. Let's see if we Okay, I was finna say like maybe if we flip her over this way, then it don't look so bad, but no, now she just looks run down. But here we go. Yo, though the, though the presentation might look questionable, this is definitely, this is definitely leftover. I think, I think the only thing that I don't like is my noodles feel loose. But the seasoning, the seasoning is on point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The season is on point. Like, I'm definitely going to be um watching some more of his cooking videos. And then we're gonna we're gonna work on we're going to work on the actual presentation. But the delivery, oh delivery is the delivery is good. I'm not even capping y'all know. I'm gonna tell y'all. If something is a, a no, I'm good to throw something in the trash. But this actually really is good. I really am proud of myself. Thank you, Most High. Thank you, y'all, for wishing me good luck um, virtually. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. One of these hamburgers almost took me out in the middle of me thanking y'all. So. I know some of y'all was wishing that this did not come out good, but it came out very pleasing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. One time for the Audrey show. Two time for the Audrey show. Three time for the Audrey show. Go Audrey. Go Audrey. Go, 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 Audrey. Go, Audrey. Go, Audrey. Go, 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 Audrey. Go, 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 go. Mm, 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 mm. I did that thing. I did that thing. Y'all, I'm almost <clears throat> wifey material. So, baby, I know a lot of you men out there do not eat red sauce. And I don't even blame you. Because if I was a man, I probably wouldn't eat red sauce neither. But y'all ain't got to worry about none of that when it comes to my cooking. Because, first of all, I wouldn't even know how to add in extra recipes in here anyway so that you wouldn't be able to taste the blood. So, you don't got to worry about that with my cooking. Uh -uh. We just do. We just follow the, in the instructions, follow the ingredients. <clears throat> and I do have... I do have a whole bowl of stuff here. Y'all, I don't care about me coughing over my food before y'all say, uh, she coughing over that food. First of all, it's only me here. So, I'm the only one who's going to be eating this. So, I'm going to be eating my own journey. So, yeah. Do what you want, but don't mess with me. Mm. That is the end of this vlog, y'all. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. Um... Shout out to the Cajun Ninja for walking me through this recipe. I know that if you ever watch this, that you'll be like, that's that's not what I showed you. That's not, that's not what I did. But the taste tastes great. The looks is deceiving. So I thank you, and I will be doing some more of his recipes. Um, Y'all comment down below. 
Or if y'all have any other person, not no cookbook because I'm not good at following the cookbook. I actually need to watch a video of them making the food in order for me to <clears throat> get it right. Because this actually tastes really good. It actually tastes really good. But <clears throat> I'm about to eat this up and prepare for bed because I do have to go work out in the morning. But this is good because now I can come home and eat. Though I shouldn't be eating this. But I'm just going to put my waist trainer on. Pasta is good for the booty. It's good for gay. So, y'all enjoy y'all night. And I will catch y'all on tomorrow. Why am I, why am I, why am I doing this? <clears throat> Anyways. I don't know where I got that from, yeah. But I will catch y'all on tomorrow. So y'all have y'all a blessed night or a blessed morning or whenever you decide to watch this. Thank y'all. Say my lasagna look like. What you say? Look like crap. I will have to be blindfolded to eat it. You do better off. Going back to the beach, putting your bikini on, rolling around, put your three hundred dollar weed. Find your man, and just look the part like Jocelyn. Absolutely not. That bitch don't cook. You think she cooks? That bitch don't like she can fry eggs. <laughs> the Puerto Rican princess can't do shit. So you better be trying your some kind of nationality. Make up yourself a nationality. Maybe you could call yourself the Hebrew Israelite. God, I almost, uh, I almost choked on this lasagna. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> choked on this lasagna. <laughs> yeah, you almost choked on that. Bull oh, crap. I bet it's thick and full of. Does mm -mm. he use basil? Basil? As an ingredient, yeah. yeah, yeah. What you put in it, Audrey? Um. First, did you use regular noodles or already oven? No, like regular noodles. noodles. Did you boil them or did you just stick them in the hole? I just stuck them in the hard. Uh, that's a bunch of bugs. No, it actually came out right. I followed the man. His name is Cajun Ninja. I, I followed. It's called Cajun. Cajun Ninja. Mm-hmm. Here, here, um... What, what nationality is it? Why does that piece matter? What that cause, cause? I'm going to tell you like my nephew told me, Jermaine Dixon. Shout out to Jermaine. He had a girlfriend that was Asian. And he had a girlfriend that was black. Well, evidently they got their roles messed up. Because the Asian girl called herself cooking, cooking soul food. And the black girl called herself cooking stir fry. He told them, stick to what you know. So you Asians, stick to cooking stir fry. You black girls, cook the sticking chicken, black eyed peas and rice and gravy, candy yams, cornbread, pig feet, oxtails. Asians, get you some rice, some broccoli, some carrots, some zucchini squash. Cut all this shit up, put it in a pot, mix it. Make your only special sauce, soy sauce, wish our sauce. Keep them on, whatever. What is you eating, a biscuit? A roll. Now you stuff on your shit with all them book out. Then your stomach look poked out. You got on the purple dress, Caitlin got on the red, a yellow one. What is this? I know, me and Caitlin said that. She told me you was in there cooking. I said, I had to ask, miss. I'm telling you. What's, the, what's the other one supposed to be? Was it a souffle? A what? what? was that you were trying to cook the first time? Give it a name, because it, it looks like bullshit. <laughs> what looked like that? What? The first meal that you attempted, well, I ain't going to say the first meal, because you attempted several, and it came out <laughs> to look like bullshit. You need to go. They got all them schools up there. Take you a professional cooking class. The mom said, drink wine and, and learn how to cook. I'm telling you, this one came out good. But who really know how to cook, you need to call your Aunt Chanta. 
I actually yeah, for Aunt Janet's food. cooking recipe. I actually was giving me her spaghetti. Is it this her spaghetti? That's Janet's, but you need to talk to Shanta. A cooking head. Stop eating a damn bowl like that. Shit. <laughs> I don't know how else you want me to eat it with my mouth closed. But you're just stuffing that bread in that mouth like that. It's bread. It's not big. It's automatically just blowing your stomach up. Like, as soon as it gets in your mouth, boom, your stomach gets bigger and bigger. I can hang up the phone with you because you you too much. Well, you too much. And then you got that one bun bun and upside down. <laughs>